Okay, everybody, here we are. We're entering Creme Croc Industries Incorporated. I feel like I've blasted through this game because I actually have been recording this all in one day. Like, it's still the first day of me recording it. It's not a very long game, though. Creme Croc Industries... I think this is near the end. I don't know if it's the last world, but it's it's getting there. I also remember this is where it gets significantly harder. Wait, I remember. I think i got to land really hard. There's a rope there. TNT barrel. All right. Oh, I could have destroyed that oil drum. Oh, right, well. All right. Got this shit. It wasn't high enough, but maybe this will be high enough. Oh, there was like a frickin' thing up there. I should've picked this up as Diddy. Yeah, see, so you can get rid of the oil drums completely. Woohoo! Boing! Like, I kind of want to get it. You know, I'm just trying to get through the level, but I kind of wanted to get that, so, you know. Like, if I hadn't made it that time, I'd probably just been like, eh, it ain't worth it. I do like the music in this part. That is one thing, I'm kind of, like, forgotten how good the music is in this game. It's been a long time. Oh, hey! I knew there was a reason I was doing that. Alright, we're rocking and rolling here. That's the N. I've gotten every letter so far. I haven't even really been trying to. Oh yeah, you gotta time this right. I get the oil barrel thing, but then of course I lose Donkey Kong because I ran into that asshole. But there's a new Donkey Kong. He's like Kenny from South Park. Oh shit. Completely immortal. It's like I hear barrel sounds. Fuck ya! Oh. Uh, you know what? You probably gotta wait till the fire stays up a while, and then it'll. Yeah, I think that's how you do it. Ah! Oh, it has been a while, huh? But I'm feeling like so much better about this game than I did a couple hours ago. Like. Uh, basically, I started record, record like I started recording. So I was recording Chronicles of a Dark Lord episode two, and I ran into a problem that I got to get Tanya to iron out. And I was like, "Well, I got to wait. She's not going to be up for like a long time." And technically, like right now, as I'm speaking to you, she's actually on vacation, so I don't even know if she's going to get my message. But oh fuck, I didn't have DiddyCon. I keep running into that guy too. So I was like, you know what, alright, I got plenty of that recorded for, you know, posterity, so I'll just switch over to Donkey Kong Country. I haven't started that LP yet, and I recorded a bunch, and then I stopped, and I recorded a little more, and then I stopped. And then, like, I was talking with S-Serpent for several hours, actually, and, um, I was like, well, I'm going to record Donkey Kong unless you want to hang around for that. So we did a few episodes, as you guys have seen by now. And then a little while later, I'm like, well, you know, I should be thinking about getting bit to bed now, but let me uh, get a little bit of DKC in. Uh, I feel better about it. Oh, I suck at that part. I think you're not even supposed to try to hit the second oil barrel. I think you're supposed to just make one big jump from the first one to the platform. Mm. Alright, now. Do it, do it, doing it well. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, here's the exit. Oi! Alright, next up we have Trick Track Trek, which I think is another minecart stage. Oh no, it's this thing. I 
could have sworn there were more minecart stages in this. Maybe I'm thinking of the sequels. I know there's at least one more. But I had a feeling there were like a bunch, but I've only run into the one so far. Alright, DK, that was that was stupid. Why did you do that? Stupid birds. Whoa, hello. Fuck yeah. Yeah, I didn't want it that much anyway. Oh, I was supposed to duck, but I was supposed to duck more in the right part. So if you lower onto him, you'll get hit. But if you jump before you... Oh, fuck! In the middle of a sentence, and I'm like... Oh, blah, blah, blah. If you jump, then you kill him. It's the weirdest thing. Like, you have to come down on them, but you have to be falling, not slowly being lowered down. <laughs> I don't know the mechanism by which the track goes down through the bird, and the bird comes up through it and somehow kills you. Video game logic, son. I can't even switch to Diddy right now, because he's te technically not stationary. I almost thought I jumped too soon there. Oh, fuck your mother, man. Damn it, that sucks. You know, those spitting those nuts that are as big as your head, man. <laughs> See, that's what you're supposed to do. Then you kill him for his troubles. Yo! You have like a half a second to make that jump. Are you going to cause problems? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Eat shit! Oh, fuck your mother, man! definitely do that. This is nerve-wracking, it really is. But it always was, man. I, I, it, it's bringing back the nostalgia feelings, because this is a nerve-wracking game. Because you could technically know how to play it and be good at it, but there are certain parts that you'll always feel like, oh my god, am I going to make this or not? Gah, somehow I missed that with my gigantic sprite. You know, I really just want to be over with this level. I want to be done with it. Because he's going to turn around and keep throwing them, but I'm not worried. Oh. Oh, and Diddy can't fucking jump on those guys. He just bounces around. Well, fuck. Diddy's at a distinct disadvantage in this game, you know? There's a couple of parts where he's useful. I think he's... Oh, fuck. Especially useful in the water levels, because he's a small sprite. And the way he holds the barrels is good for certain bosses, but there's so many enemies that just shrug off his attacks that you just really want to be Donkey Kong for those enemies. Like the guys, the big blue guys, Diddy can't kill them like at all. Unless he's on like Randy or something. And these guys he can't jump on, only Donkey Kong can jump on those guys. There's a few like the there's a few enemies that shrug off his cartwheels. I mean, he's at a distinct disadvantage. I hate that sound that Donkey Kong makes with his idle animation. I'm really just like ready to be done with this vindication, but I missed the O. Fuck the O anyway. Biggest omelet she's ever had. I don't want to fuck with this guy, but... No, no, no. Oh! 
God damn it! I first I say I don't want to fuck with him, so I decided to fuck with him. But then wait, he's hanging out on the front of the cart. Maybe I should fucking kill his ass. And then just when I jump, it's like fuck. The worst timing ever to jump. Of course, I'm just gonna get Donkey Kong right back here, but I can't switch to him. I think of these comments like L2P noob, and I'm gonna be like, dude, fuck you. The amount of time since I last played this game is older than most of the assholes who would say that, so. Like, you're not even that age. Alright, I'm Diddy. Alright, that was, that was my B there. I forgot that I was Diddy. Well, now I should be Donkey Kong at least, right? No, I'm Diddy. Fuck. That's right. At least I have them both with me. Well, at least now I'm Donkey Kong, but I can't take a fucking hit. Fuck your mother! She was a monkey! Wow, I didn't even, like, I, I don't know what I was, like, smoking right there in that moment. Like, I, I just had, like, a fucking Zach Morris time zone thing. And, like, we're gonna put his hand on the wrong part of the controller, and he's not even gonna. Whoa, well, fuck. Oh, y'all saw that, right? Diddy just fell through the fucking platform? Like, I didn't. I'm gonna have to watch the recording that and see what the fuck actually happened there, but it seemed like he just fell through the platform for, like, very little reason. Now I'm getting trolled. Now the game is trolling me. Might have been a bug. I don't know. But you're saying, damn, man, you got a lot of recording done. Well, it's the weekend, you know? I had a rough fucking week at work. I'm just gonna record and play some video games and have fun, commentate to y'all guys, and you know. Ugh. I feel like I've been playing this level way longer than I actually have. You know what's funny is that you actually don't need to do anything to avoid that guy. His attack will never, like, hit you. But I still, like, freak out when I see him. Okay, Diddy don't, can't even, like, touch these guys, so... There we go, he's gone. Okay, Donkey Kong, yes, we know you're a gorilla. You're a fucking weird gorilla. The level's not over yet? Oh, now it is, good. They put that one fucking orangutan at the end just to fuck with you. Alright, elevator antics, here we go. Good lord. You know, I think part of it is, like, this game is, like, way shorter than I remember it being. Because, like, you know, like, back in the day, we had to learn to play it, and... You know, it took you a while to get through levels, and now I'm just like, oh, shit, I remember this. Just take me a few tries, and I'll get through it, you know. But I'm, you know, back in the day, uh, a level could have you stumped for, you know, like a week. Now it's like, oh, ain't nobody got time for that. People say games got easier, or maybe, like, oh, fuck. I don't know, sometimes I wonder, like, did games get easier, or did I get better at games? And, and I guess, like, the way to test that is to go back and play some of the games you played as a kid and kind of compare. But then it's like, okay, is this really harder than the games I play today, or am I just rusty, you know? So it's, it's definitely, you know, a discussion that I really think is... I don't know, difficulty is in the eye of the beholder, in a way, because... Alright, I'm going to give you guys an example. I knew this guy, um... What was his name? Ben? I knew this guy Ben, from Canada, right? And he was a pretty normal guy, for the most part. I mean, he... Um... He had Asperger's, but... Like, you couldn't really tell with him, because he had it under control, you know? I guess he had, like, the right medications and shit. And, I don't know, I thought he was socially pretty normal. I mean, every once in a while he'd get the awkwardness, but really, I mean... See, I think he was misdiagnosed. I think he was just a nerd. But... And I said, you know, you ever think that you were just, like, misdiagnosed? And he, I'm getting way off topic here, but it's an interesting story. And he told me how he felt like his parents just wanted, like, an answer as to why he was not like every other kid. And, 
they demanded like a diagnosis and that's what they got. So now he's like saddled with this. And I kind of agreed. I don't really know if he really had Asperger's or not. But anyway, um, you know, he was a gamer and I remember he started to get into the Mega Man games and he, he wasn't, you know, he's a younger guy than me and he didn't play like all the ones on NES you know, back in the day like I did. But I remember he played through um, Mega Man X. He says, what's like your favorite Mega Man games? And I said, well, I like the X games a lot. Like Mega Man X, you know, one through six are great games. After that, it kind of got a little fucky. But um, although I like the RPG that they made, I'm going to die here. Fuck. Oh, well. I have significantly less lives. I mean, I always go back to like farm lives in the first like areas, but Ain't nobody got time for that either. So anyway, he got he played Mega Man X. I said, you know, well, you know, I'll start with the first one on Super NES and uh, let me know what you think, right? So he gets through it pretty easily, and he gets to the end. And by the way, I will be LP in that game eventually. And just for whatever reason, just cannot beat Sigma. You know, he just just like first form, he gets through the dog, he beats the first form, and then after that he just can't do it. He can't beat Sigma. And I'm like, you know, it's not really that hard, he's kind of intimidating, but this is what you gotta do, and he's like, I don't know, I'm, I'm, you know, I said, you gotta, like, wait till he brings the hand down, and then ride on it, and, uh, and what you do is you just go up to the top and hit him with the, uh, what do you call that thing, the, uh, fucking... Rolling shield. That was the only letter I got. Oh, why did I pay for it? I should be near the end, at least. And he's like, yeah, but then, you know, I get hit by the lightning, and I was like, well, you don't stay on the hand. You, you hit him once, and then you, you know, you get away. You get out of there. Oh, it was gone. Shit. Fucking asshole, man. So he never did it. He gave up. And then, he, you know, he's play he, he wound up playing Mega Man Zero, and I'm like, oh, that one's kind of hard, man. I don't know, like, if you had a hard time with Mega Man X... You know, and he's like, well, it was just that one part. And I'm like, yeah, I get that, because it's not really a hard game. I mean, once you get used to it. And I still think he could have beaten Sigma with just a little practice, but he got really frustrated. And, you know, games aren't really about being frustrated. They're about having fun, so, you know. I get that. If, you, if you're not having fun anymore, you should stop playing. But he decided to play Mega Man Zero, and I'm like, I really don't know how, you're gonna, how much you're going to like this game. Because it's 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 quite difficult. He fucking blazed through it like it was nothing. Like he he not only did he beat it. Fucking hell! I really need Donkey Kong for this. He beat it like it, it, he he thought it was way easier. And I'm like, dude, you're the only one who thinks that. That's like that game's pretty fucking hardcore, you know. And by the way, he's not playing like easy version on like you know the DS Mega Man Zero Collection. He's playing the original Game Boy Advance game, you know. This is really a bad place to be stuck with just Diddy. So anyway, uh, you know, sometimes, like, difficulty can be in the eye of the beholder. Like, he's the only one that would say that, well, maybe not the only one, but the only person I've ever come across who would say that, fucking hell. Oh, he just won't move away from the ledge. He keeps turning around. I'm going to run out of lives here. That's gonna suck. I'm gonna have to start resorting to save states. So yeah, he's the only one that would really be like, say that Mega Man Zero is an easier game than than Mega Man X was. So, I don't know. Like, I never really thought that Donkey Kong Country was a hard game. It's just that some, there is some memorization involved because of oh, fucking hell. Because the screen is pretty zoomed in, and I never really thought about that as a teenager, but, you know, and I was recording earlier with S Serpent, I said, you know, the game would be a lot better if... Oh! Well, I didn't clear him, but I at least got to a safe place. Alright. Switch. I really just cannot fuck this up. Oh, where's my platform? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, man. 
as is fuck beyond belief. Yeah, just... Even if I get hit. Oh, God. Oh, please be at the end. Please be at the end. Oh! It's like, no matter what, I couldn't get the timing. Fuck, man. I'm like watching him, and I'm like, oh, man. I mean, oh, God damn it. That is just, like, hard. That is harder than my cock at your mom's place. And I'm talking straight fucking seven, dude. Oh, shit. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm being stupid here. I gotta stop talking so much. But then again, this is a fucking LP. I'm supposed to fucking talk. You dick! You know, like, part of what sucks is I just do not... I, I really have no memory of this level. At all. I don't remember it giving me a problem. I don't remember it being easy. I just don't remember it. Oh, I cleared him. That part is just balls fucking... It, that, as my friend Carissa would say, that is ball sweat. Oh, 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 great, great. All right, great, wonderful, great, yeah. All right, well, I'm, I'm like, low on lives here, so I'm actually going to make a save state just in case uh, this goes horribly wrong. I'm hoping that doesn't happen, because I haven't been to a candy save station in a while, but... Why did I just stand there like a fucking knob? Because I got used to playing with Diddy and... ...being able to just run into the guy. Yeah. God damn it. Ah! Oh. Get out of here, nobody likes you. Oh god, oh god. Oh man, I really thought that I reacted, but I guess I didn't. I, uh, I've made a decision. I hate this level. Like, this is worse than that snow level, because at least there I know eventually I'll luck upon a, uh, thing that will let me skip most of the level. Alright. Fuck you! Oh! I got him and he got me! What a dick! What a fucking duty-faced pebble fucker! A duty-faced pebble fucker? I really like that, actually. Alright, that was, that was dumb. That was, that was... Yo. Alright, I'm on my last life. I could just reload where I had, like, two lives. But, um... Yeah, that was... That was on me! Sorry, guys! Do over. Just do that. I don't need it that badly. You know what's funny is I think I got the part with the fucking, you know, trying to clear that asshole. I got that shit down. Close to another life, at least. Just gotta wait a while. Not try to jump like right away, you know. Oh, I should have just walked off the platform instead of trying to jump off it. Dick. I'm trying to collect some bananas and maybe get an extra life. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Finally killed that fucker. Well, I beat the level. And that's where I stop. But first I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. 38%. But I know I'm near the end of the game. Well, alright, see you guys next time. Holy shit.